Is there one procedure to set the preload on a tapered roller bearing? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. To answer your question, there is no such thing as a universal procedure for setting the preload on a tapered roller bearing. It depends on a lot of factors. Most of all, it depends on the make and manufacture of the vehicle. But from there, it can depend on the size of the bearing, the type of stub axle, the flange, the wheel size. It is critical that you look up the procedure to set the final preload on these bearings. It's also important that you're using the right tools, a torque wrench and maybe even a torque meter to determine how far off the bearing has to come off after the final torque has been set. Don't rely on procedures that you may have heard from your father or grandfather or a coworker. These don't cut it anymore because there's so many variations in the design of certain axles and drivetrains. So to sum it up, make sure you're looking up the service information when you're installing a tapered roller bearing on a vehicle. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much. <music>